Now, unrest in South Africa has claimed at least about 117 lives so far. The government has moved its military reserves in a bid to try and curb looting, which has given rise to the fear of shortages and delivered a crippling economic blow. The acting minister in the presidency has told the media that the situation in Johannesburg is actually relatively calm. But the southeastern province of KwaZulu Natal continues to remain in the eye of the violence. Top ministers and army generals have arrived in KwaZulu Natal. They'll assess the situation and then they'll oversee the deployment of the security forces. The South African government has said that it will be deploying nearly 25,000 troops to deal with the emergency. But the army chief has ordered reserve members to report for duty. Warehouses and stores in Johannesburg and KwaZulu Natal have also been looted. This has wrecked the crucial supply chains for food, fuel and medicines. The scores of businesses have been ransacked in South Africa's economic capital. The minister has described the widespread looting and arson as an economic sabotage. Over 2,300 people have been arrested by the cops for various offences including theft. Now, the unrest started a day after ex-president Jacob Zuma began a 15-month jail term. Zuma was, Zuma was sentenced to jail for refusing to testify against the corruption probe under his tenure. Zuma enjoys support from the poor sections of South Africa. The protests quickly transpired into looting as crowds started ransacking shopping malls and stealing goods. Intelligence firm Pangea Risk has said that the situation in KwaZulu Natal is unlikely to be contained in the coming days. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.